All right. So I'm just getting this going on YouTube, our live stream. Okay. So let me get our pieces ready and we're gonna wait for, we've got some Marlo and Annika, you all are here. Let me get you in attendance first. And then we're gonna go ahead and wait for our other performers because Brenton was just here a second ago. Oh, there he is, okay. All right, hi Brenton, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me now, Brenton? Oh, yeah. Marlo, excellent. And we're just waiting for, let me just double check. So we've got, oh, we're just waiting for Emily. And Johnny's gonna watch. All righty. All right. Hey, hi, I'm Johnny. So can everybody hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how about, uh, we're still waiting for Emily, um, but that's okay. So how about, who's the first? How about some uh, Marlo, are you ready to go? Are you ready to play for us? Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. So let me, let me get started. Okay. So our first performer tonight is Marlo and you will be playing the Clementi Sonatina, the first movement. Yes. In C major. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and we will, we will listen in. Okay. Sorry, I'm still muted. Yeah, great job. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, I thought this was um, really, really nice, really smooth, and you made it through. Let me show you one, one thing I think we could take advantage of. So over the course of this, I think you could be more um, extreme in your dynamics. So just a little bit more contrast between parts that are loud and parts that are soft. Most of, I could I could hear most of your dynamics really well. Um, in general, it's that we want to make sure the softs are a little bit softer. Um, so what I wanted to work on was actually this happens at the beginning and at the end. Um, so can you play for me the first one, two, three, four measures? Okay. 
So that's kind of our first, right? So notice that's kind of the first phrase in the piece. So now can you can you actually go on like you just did and play the second part and make sure it's like an echo. So notice this, this next part should be soft. And I want you to play all the way to this G. Can you try that for me? Good. So this is the part I wanted to, to hear you play. So we talked about being soft. That was much better. Much better soft there. That was sounding great. So notice this phrase when we hear, we want to get all the way to that G, right? So this is the end of what we've started here, right? So Right, that could be the end. But what happens instead of instead of sort of ending it, we suddenly get this whole new thing starting, right? We get the scales. So what I want you to do, can you play this from the beginning of the piece one more time? Let's do our loud, then almost like an echo, and then what I want you to really see if you can do is right here on these notes, make a really surprising loud to start the scale part off, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, so let's hear that. And you can, you know, we just need to go for, through those, uh, you know, whatever, eight, 10 measures there, okay? Yeah, that was great. So what 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 I want you to maybe spend a little time practicing, see how surprising you can make that loud part, right? So you want people to, to jump up and it get really loud. Um, so otherwise, that was really great, Marla. Thank you. All righty. So and Britton, are you are you able to hear me? OK. Yeah. OK, I saw you rejoined. All right. So is Emily here? I've, I'm still yeah. waiting for. I'm literally right here. Oh, where? Oh, there you are. Okay, I didn't see you were a, a gerbil or something, a hamster. Okay, there you are. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, are you ready to play? You are our first performer listed. Are you ready to play Carnival of Venice? Yeah. All right. Is it for a month at least? All righty. So our next, our next performer is Emily, and she'll be playing the Carnival of Venice. So whenever you're ready to go, Emily. Okay, I have the piece right in front of me. <laughs> Thank you. 
great job, Emily. Thanks. Okay, thanks for playing. So one thing I noticed is that there were a couple times that you kind of wanted to start again, or you like- Yeah, because I messed up. Yeah, well, okay. So were you just losing your place from the music to your hands? Yeah. Because it didn't, yeah, it didn't really sound like you were messing up. It just sounded yeah. like you maybe needed a second to think. So what I want to try is let's do, let me see if I can find the first place that we had a little hiccup. So maybe somewhere seven. in here. Part seven. Yeah, measure seven there. Seven to eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you know, you know the spots then. Okay. So what I want you to try, we'll try something a little different. So can you play me, let's look at your left hand notes. Can you play me your left hand alone? And <laughs> instead of playing it like it's written, I want you to play all of the notes in the measure at the same time. What? Does that, so instead of playing. I can hardly hear it. Oh, so instead of playing, I want you to play. It just cut out. Oh, it cut out a little bit. Well, so did you get, did you get the picture? Not really. Okay. So I want you to play all three notes at one time. So don't worry about the rhythm. Like this? Yep. And I want you to play that with your right hand notes melody. Okay. But you play your you right hand. It? Play your right hand like it's written. So you hold it. Yeah, you just hold out the, the left hand just as a one thing. Like that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like that? Yes. So you can see it's a little tricky and you just do... Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And I know, so, so one thing, and you can, you know, you don't have to, to master this right this second. So you can see it's a little tricky, right? It makes you kind of think about the groups of notes you're playing. Um, so the reason I, I, I would recommend doing that is number one, it gives your left hand a sense of like, what are all the notes that I need to be over right now? Second thing is it actually makes you pay attention to what's happening at each particular count yeah. one, yeah? So I think if you practice every maybe four measures like this and practice between between the chunks as well, right? So go from this measure into this measure. Um, that's gonna give you another tool to work on smoothing over. So anywhere you feel like you have to kind of stop and think and reset, definitely do this approach over that spot. Okay. And that should help, right? Because it was sounding great. You found all the notes. Didn't sound like there was any mistakes. Yeah, or... because I've been like practicing this for a month. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this was great. So, and thank you again. Emily. All right, really good. So. Our next performer is, oh, and Lisa, we have two performances tonight of a Telemann minuet. So we've got Brenton and Annika, and I'm going to have you both go, and then we'll work on the piece with both of you, okay? Since it's the same piece, we'll try out a little, a little something, and I'll put the score up here for everybody. All right, so our next performer is Brenton, and he is going to play the Minuet by Telemann in G major. 
So whenever you're ready, Brenton, let's go for it. <laughs> Great job, Brenton. That was terrific. All right, and our, our final performer tonight is Anika, and she is also playing the Telemann Minuet. So Anika, are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, and whenever, yeah, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and start, thanks. Great job, Monica. That was really nice. So I really enjoyed those dynamics. That was terrific. All right. So now for both of you. So let's let's look at the um, the minuet, and we'll we'll check this out here. So and just as is everybody else observing, I didn't know that that was all the performers I had listed on Pro. Is anybody else here to play? I can just play. Anjani? Oh, okay. So I don't have you on here, but what what are you going to play? Just curious. I was going to play um, Classical Sonatina, the uh, Allegro part. I don't know how to say it. Oh, the same, the, so the C major, the Clementi? Um, I'm going to go to a... That one or a different one? Um, Classical Sonatina. Um, uh -huh. Oh, okay. It's okay. The one with three parts. Okay. First movement. The first movement. Okay. Well, we the can play that one. So for so for oh. Britain and so for Britain and Annika that you all just played the the menu oh. here. I thought oh. you all did great. So one thing I noticed was about our rhythm. So. In, I know that in, in these triplets, y'all are doing great, really thinking about the triplets, right? Or, excuse me. So that was really good. So these beginning measures are really, really busy. There's a lot going on. But I noticed when you all get to this next part, we were, we were rushing. We were still moving at the pace of the that we were thinking in the triplets. So what I want you to think of in measure five 
use this as an opportunity to kind of rest and, and breathe a little bit. So think about we have all this space after it, so the half note is going to last for a long time. So I want you to imagine that we've got three quarter notes here, which we do. So th don't forget to think about this sort of quarter note that doesn't, that we don't hit in the middle, right? So really think of having, we're kind of, we're like running and running and running, and then suddenly we've got all this space, right, for this part. So can I hear each of you play maybe the first section one more time? And I want to hear that air, that that breath in the middle of this relaxing part. Okay. Okay. So how about um, so Annika, do you want did you want to try that first, and then I'll hear Britton. The the second one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was good. So even a little bit more space, that was good. So thinking of bum, um, right? Think bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that was good though. So Britton, could I hear you try that too? Yes. Nice. Okay, that was that was better. So definitely the time to think about that too is again, remember the contrast that you're going to feel in your mind, right? Between the triplet parts that are like really so busy, I'm trying to fit it all in and then the half note part which is like, "Ah, oh, I can take a breath." So remember when you play those two right next to each other, you got to kind of switch mindsets when you get there. Good. But that was great, you all. Thanks. All right. And so on Johnny, you said you were playing the Classical Sonatina. All right, and I think this is correct. I'm not 100% sure because you're not on the list, but I think this is it. All right, let me see if I can open this. All right, our last performer is going to be Anjani, and she's playing the Classical Sonatina. So whenever you're ready to go, Anjani, I've got it up here.
great job, Anjani. Okay, so one comment that th this was really nice. I thought you, I can tell you really worked a lot on your on your scales. That was sounding really good. Um, so one thing I noticed is again, so just like we said with the with the with our two minuet performers, don't forget to remember you can relax when you get to notes that are not eighth notes. So one particular thing I was actually noticing here is, and this is unusual, people don't usually do this, is you are ready, you are ready to go right into the next measure. So a couple of these measures, you kind of, we went too early into the next measure. So um, let it finish out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. sorry. So you were doing something like, So you you're kind of starting starting the next measure before we could we could finish up here. Um, Everything is pointed out that the rhythm is always wrong. Well, oh, and and that's so that's one part of it. So what I want you to think about, right, is we've got our so we've got all eighth notes, ba da 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 da, and even think because these are nice and staccato. Think about taking a breath. So think about we've got a little break, bum, bum, and then we have our next eighth note set, da 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 da, and then we can have another breath, bum, bum, right? So can you try? Could you try just starting at measure five, and try just this one little? better yeah great yeah people always point out that section because... yeah well so it's just as simple as remembering right so there's a little bit with with rhythm right there's a little bit of a pattern so think about we the main thing is we just don't want every note to kind of slide into being the exact same Right, so one of the things that rhythm gives you when you have actual different fast notes and slow notes, it gives you some variety. So I think the overall thing, don't don't think too much about correct, incorrect. I think what is gonna help you play it like you just did is remember that when you're when you're playing the rhythm, it's gonna give you a sense that there is some push and pull to the notes, right? There are gonna be moments where it seems like it's going Slower moments where it's just going fast. Yeah. So that's I think if you remember the variety, that's what's gonna that's the thought that's gonna keep you on track here. Okay. Um, yeah. No. That's that sounded great. So thanks. Terrific. All right, and I think that was all our performers. I only had four listed, but we got on Johnny too. Um, so thank you all for coming. Did anybody else have anything before we left? All right, well, thank you all for coming, and thank you to our performers. You all did great. I will see you all next time. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye. You were telling me you were going to play Minuet in school, and you actually did. I'm impressed.